In this video I'm going to create a custom footprint. Usually when you create a PCB you will very soon run into the problem that the component that you want to place doesn't exist in any libraries and then you have to create that component and you also have an issue with that the footprint might not be available so you need to create that footprint yourself. So let's go into CACAD and in this case we open up the PCB drawing and, and from here you can open the module editor up here and here we can start to create a new component footprint so let's see here uh, select an active library and at the moment now I haven't created any library of my own so when we have created this footprint we should save it into a new library so you can't really select the library here so let's abort so to make it simple, we create a simple, small outlined Suic, like this uh, microchip land pattern footprint. This outline already exists in KiCad, so we need to name it something else, but uh, this is just for practice. So there we have a little drawing on the land pattern, and then here are the dimensions for everything. So let's go down here. And from here, we create a new module. New module. And here we enter the name of our component footprint. So let's call this my suic narrow. This is not a standard naming for a narrow suic, but this is just for demonstration. So let's press OK. And what's happened now is that you get two texts over each other here. So let's move one text away. Press M, uh, the reference. So that is the name of our component. And we move the value here. M as in move. You can move it aside like that. Move that aside for the time being. The value is the reference designator so if I go into E as an edit I can change this to U for instance and the asterisk behind it will be replaced with U1, U2, U3, U4 and so on so let's do that and now let's place a pad here Let's change the grid to something a bit more bigger, like that. And this is the origin, the blue line here. You can see it down here, uh, the X and Y coordinate for it. So let's place a pad there, the first one. This is the pad, add pad. I will place it there. In this case, we don't want the through hole pad, we want it to be a uh, surface mount pad so let's press E as an edit and select pad type surface mount and the shape to be rectangular and let's start placing that one there and now we need to edit the shape of this so press E as an edit and these two properties will change the size of the footprint of that pad and for the time being I am using millimeters as my preferred dimension so let's take a look at the drawing and we have the pads here let's see X1 and Y1 is the width and the height of the pad X1 is 0.60 millimeters this is in millimeters so x1 should be 0.6 millimeters size x 0.6 it should be a point in an american computer but in my swedish computer it's a comma not the point so 0 0.6 there and we should change this to let's see y1 Y1 
1.55. So, okay, this is our footprint for the first pin. And now it's time to place the other pins. And to do that more simple, we need to use this grid in a better way. So let's take a look at these dimensions again. And we can see this E is the distance between the pads. E as in 1.27 millimeters. So I go over to right click the mouse, grid select 1.27 millimeters or 50 mils. So now every time I move the mouse, it snaps to this grid with the exact spacing of 1.27. 27 so I go up here add pad next pad and it automatically gets the same properties as, as the one we just placed so we need one two three let's see how many it was one two three four okay one two three four and we should place the other row above here, like five, six, seven, eight. But we should place them in an exact distance from this one. So what we need to do is to change the grid again. And let's see on the dimension here, this is the distance C. Distance C is 5.4 millimeters. So we should have an, a Y value of uh, 5.4 millimeters. And if we right click, go to grid select, do we have a grid size of 5.4 millimeters? Five? No, we doesn't. So we need to use a user defined grid. So let's go up to dimensions, user grid size, put in 5.4. I've already done this before, 5.4. Press OK. And now we can select this user grid version. We should probably have the spacing in horizontal to 1.27 millimeters. So let's go to dimension, user grid, x 1.27, like that. And now we can place the other pads, 5, 6, 7 and 8. And this is an excellent way to get the right spacing between things. Just select another grid size to what you prefer and it will be okay. So now let's change the grid size again. Right click, grid select, 1.27 like that. This is the reference point, so you see this is a little bit off there, but it's correct according to the data sheet. So, yeah. And now we need to draw some silk screen uh, for the body here. Let's draw something like this. And that will be the silk screen for where the, the component should be placed. And one thing you should remember when you do silk screen on a component is that you should never draw a line through pads like this. You shouldn't do the outline like this. Because what happens when you do this is that this pad will have white paint on it. And the, when you try to solder the component to the PCB, that white paint shouldn't be there. So. Let's remove that and do it like this. And we should draw some kind of marking to tell which one is pin one. So let's uh, place the grid at the very fine pitch like that and draw a circle somewhere like there. And then we can go move, no, move, place it like there. And we can move the name here over there. And we can move the reference name somewhere like there. And usually you don't want this name to be printed on the silk screen. So let's press E as an edit. 
and select display invisible like that and that's our newly created narrow civic footprint so now the only thing we need to do is to save this into a new library so go up here create new library and save current module let's place that at the dropbox private KiCad projects my lab my libraries call it uh, my footprints let's save that's it we have now created our own footprint almost everything is perfect now except if you take a look at the pinouts it's one two three four six seven eight nine it should be one two three four five six seven eight so it's done some mistake here but that is easily fixed you just hover over the pad here press e as an edit and you get the pad number here set that to five six seven and eight and it's important that you check the pin numbering more than once because if you get them wrong you will get into trouble in the future when you use this component so that concludes this video